What are we making today, mom? We're canning tomatoes the easy way. In your kitchen, with all the things at hand that you have, you'll see, super easy. Quick and easy is my motto. First things we're going to get, make sure you get the red, red tomatoes. They're the sweetest and perfectly ripe. So when you get your tomatoes, leave them out for a couple of days so they finish ripening uh, in the box. Come closer and here I have San Marzano style tomatoes. Of course, they were grown uh, here in New Jersey, but these are the San Marzano seeds. And right here I have the Roma tomatoes. I'm going to be mixing them together and cook them together. Make sure they're washed nicely. Just this movement like this with my hand so reminds me of the production we did when I was little in Italy. Clean jars and lids boiling for 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and remove them and let them dry. I like to use a cookie sheet with a rack uh, because if you put them on, on a towel, the wetness is all, it's going to keep the inside of the jar wet and then you got to dry them. So I find that this is the easiest way. Okay. I'm moving the caps too. Now it's time to get the tomatoes cut up. So here's a San Marzano, slice it in half. I want to show you. Look at these beautiful tomatoes. No seeds inside. This little part comes right out and the stem on top. See that? Going to show you a Roma tomato. The Roma are a lot juicier with more seeds. Peel this off right here. See that? See how many more, how much more seeds than the San Marzano. San Marzano is also a thicker tomato. A big pot, just cut them in half, uh, maybe three pieces if it's a very large tomato. Don't worry, once they cook down, it, it all cooks together, no problem. Gonna add an old stem of basil because we will be removing it. Lid on until the tomatoes start releasing the, their water. Do you hear that beautiful sound? It's boiling. Keep stirring it, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom, and you'll see it all needs to, a lot of the water needs to evaporate because you want the pulp to make an excellent passata di pomodoro. I'm going to remove the stalk of basil that I put in it. Now, come close, I'm going to show you how much it has reduced. You see from the rim? Now we're going to strain it. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about this thing. This is a pasta tutto. Uh, a strainer, okay? Uh, you could buy it at Bed Bath & Beyond, you could order it on Amazon. It is a must because this is going to separate the pulp of the tomatoes and leave behind the skin and the seeds. I'm using uh, not the, the smallest hole, not the biggest, but one that's just enough where the seeds are not going to fall through, but a lot of the uh, thickness, a lot of the pulp is going to come out uh, nice and a nice thick tomato okay you could do it in a merger blender but what that does you'll end up with all the seeds and all the skin and if those seeds get crushed what happens is you're going to end up with a bitter sauce and you don't want to do that uh so here's the pasta tutto this one i've had i don't know i guess i brought it back uh from Italy. uh i'm sure it's over 30 years old uh, you know, guys, is anybody out there like me that just saying 30 years old makes me feel ancient? But that's the reality of things. Okay, two legs are on the rim of the pot. As a third uh, appoggio to steady the passatutto, I'm using a wooden spoon. What will we do without the wooden spoon? By the way, I gotta tell you a little secret. Uh, not a secret, it's what when I, my husband and I fight how he takes revenge on me. But let, I'll do that at the end. Now let's get these tomatoes strained. Let's start scooping the tomatoes right in. I wish one day, I pray one day, that we could smell through these telephones and computers. Okay, 
Let's get it all strained and we'll be back in a few minutes. You're turning clockwise, right? Every once in a while, give it an opposite turn so it kind of moves whatever's at the bottom so it could proceed uh, going right through. Every once in a while, scrape the bottom and remove the skins from the top. You see how dry it is? That needs to be removed. Let's go ahead and add the salt. Don't overdo it with the salt because you need to taste it and check if you need any more. Look at this beautiful red color. Let's taste it. Now don't forget, if it's a little bit less salt, it's okay because when you make your sauce, uh, with the meat or you just do it simple then you could always add a little more perfect very important the jars could be used over and over the lids only once so once you um use your tomato sauce get rid of the the lids recycle them so you don't get confused so leaf of the basil right in sauce is boiling hot uh, this is a special a uh, funnel, otherwise a regular one works too, but this of course is easier. You could get it at any of the canning stores or right on Amazon. Don't fill it all the way up, but you don't want it too low either. As a guideline, I use the rim where the, um, the, the, the closing goes, so that's what I do. Right there, see that? Like this. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is go ahead, seal it. Now, don't forget, this is very hot. So, what you're going to do is you're going to grab Nabetze, Goshina, Marpina, any way you want to call it, and give it, hold it tight, and give it a good twist. Here it goes. Let's move on to the next one. Pot with warm water, not hot, not cold, because you don't want to uh, crack the bottles. I'm going to put a couple kitchen rags and the reason why is that so when it boils they don't uh, hit each other and kind of crack. So let me start by putting the large ones in the bottom. Don't be afraid to put extra towels around them because you don't want if one cracks you know a lot of work goes to waste. And you don't want to hear the nonnas around the world screaming. Or my nonna turning in her grave. Make sure it's totally submerged in water. And then bring them, put them back on the stove. I heat, bring them to a boil. 45 minutes from the first time it starts boiling. Okay. Like good little babies. Now we're gonna put them in the blanket. Two popped already. I wish we caught it on camera. We didn't. Uh, and you see this one already had a, a seal. So I'm gonna put them like this, flat. So hot. Let me help myself with this. Okay. These two like this. You're gonna wrap them up like this and leave it on the counter till tomorrow and make sure that they're all sealed before you store them away in your pantry. So we're done. The, we actually, I think we're gonna put a little piece. We did have them before I let you go. I, a promise is a promise. When my husband and I fight uh, and I decide not to speak with them, the way he gets me, gets my blood boiling, he goes out and he buys a jar of ragu. And that for sure is gonna make me blow up. And I sure do. Well, anyway, so easy to make. Uh, hope I make you laugh too. Uh, life is too short not to be happy. Grazie, alla prossima, arrivederci. Make these recipes, share them, hit the subscribe, hit the like button, and thank you for all your beautiful messages. Arrivederci alla prossima. Ciao, ciao. What are we making today, Mom? We're making... Sorry. So, Mehdi, what do you think? It's very good. How good? It's very... <laughs> very, very good or just good? It's very good. Excellent. Thank good. you.